you guys about Steemit. So before we get started, I would like to say that all of our proceeds going to this channel goes to charity, so any subscribe or like does go a long way, and I will be posting at least once a week, if not more, about all types of cryptocurrency news and updates, um, talking about coins, reviews, uh, all sorts of cryptocurrency stuff. So uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, let's get into it, guys. So... Steemit is a it's a social media platform that pays people for its interaction. So think of it like uh, Facebook, but getting paid for every like, comment, and post you ever do for Facebook. Um, and uh, the more that people you know share your contribution to Facebook and and post your post with others, um, the more money you end up making. So Steam. Um, Steemit Inc. is a privately held company based in New York and is headquartered in Virginia. The company was founded uh, by Ned Scott and Daniel Larimer. So, uh, Daniel is a software programmer. He created cryptocurrency platform uh, BitShares, if you've heard of BitShares. Um, it offers a stack of financial services including exchange and, and banking on the blockchain. Uh, was co-founder to the blockchain Steemit. He he uh, he essentially uh, programmed it, the entire thing, and then ended up leaving to do another pro another project, and, and gave the keys to Ned Scott. But um, he is the CTO of EOS. That's where he ended up leaving to leaving Steemit for. Um, and EOS provides infrastructure for decentralized applications. So. Um, he is a pretty successful guy. His net worth is between 600 and 700 million dollars. <throat> He's done a lot of great projects in the in the past. Um, he was born in, in Colorado, um, and he spent his you know formative years in Florida and Virginia. Received his bachelor's in engineering and computer science from Virginia Polytech Institute of uh, State University in 2003. Um, you know, he's a visionary software engineer, serial entrepreneur who's focused in areas of blockchain technology, cryptocurrency, decentralized exchanges, e uh, economic systems, and freedom. Uh, so um, he essentially um, started Steemit, um, brought in Dan. From what I understand, uh, Daniel um, met um, Scott. Uh, when he was, Scott was uh, selling some of Daniel's software to firms and companies before they ended up uh, joining together and doing Steemit. But um, after a while, uh, 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 Daniel ended up wanting to do something else with the OS. So he essentially handed all the keys over to Ned Scott, uh, who doesn't know much about programming, but's really good at um, selling software and. Uh, he's, he's definitely the, the salesman of the two. Um, and uh, Ned's been running it ever since. So um, Ned uh, graduated high school um, at Bates High School in 2012. He's a pretty young guy. Um, he, uh, cr him and Daniel created this blockchain company in 2006. Um, or sorry, sorry, 2016, right after, uh, right after Ned graduated from college, he went to Bates College, 2012-2015. Uh, he was in business operations and a uh, financial <coughs> analyst at uh, Gellert Global Group uh, before he came over to Steemit. So, how does Steemit work? So, uh, there's no cost to participate. It's completely free. Uh, when you sign up for it, it does take you. Uh, sometimes it takes you two, three weeks for you to even get a confirmation email. So sometimes people aren't even sure if they signed up correctly. But uh, you sign up, and then it takes it takes a while, a couple days, a couple of few weeks. I don't know. It depends on the traffic. Uh, but it takes a while, and then you're you'll get signed up, and uh, and then it's just your social media platform to start posting. Reputation is a score. It's a way that a steam it measures the amount of value you have in the community. Uh, you start off with uh, every new new user starts off with 25, and then higher the number you have, uh, the more reputation you have, the lower you have, 
lower your number are, the more your posts have been flagged and people have reported you. So it's kind of nice because you can tell if you know you can tell if there's scammers out there because uh, they'll have a low reputation and they won't last long on the network. So uh, plagiarism. Uh, I was very curious of why don't I just go to you know um, business.com and you grab every article they ever post and then just transfer it right over to Steemit and I get all these upvotes because I'm you know pasting in good articles from other people well the esteemit community is looking for you to add your own personal touch to your articles P plagiarizing uh, that is posting someone else's work that's uh, as if it's, as if it was your own is very frowned upon in the esteemit community it can get you down down thumbed it can get you downvoted i mean um, it could lose your reputation if you're using someone else's material as part of your post. You know, include their images, include your sources, because uh, it, it can end up being a bad thing for you down the road. Um, also, make sure that you're not violating any copyright laws if you're using someone else's materials, images, or whatever. Uh, limited source materials sharing is okay under the fair use and fair dealing doctrines, but just um, you know, just be careful. Uh, if the community does see your page and see that you're just ripping someone else, other people off and you're not putting anything original into the community, uh, people will call you out and uh, I have some seen people lose a lot of reputation over, over stuff like that. Um, in fact, I saw somebody lose like almost 20 points in reputation in, in less than you know 12 hours because of one post that they did. It was a scammy, scammy post they did, but still, the community, the community is pretty good on that. Uh, another thing to take note is, is password security. Uh, there is no changing, you can't create your own password. They're going to randomly generate you a nightmare looking password. Uh, if you lose it, too bad, so sad. Um, there's no recovering, there's no recovery email team that you can, you can contact. So when you create your account, save that email in a couple different places, write it down, takes, you know, but, uh, um, but just just know that that password security could be a nightmare. Um, in fact, I'm just going to read the thing that they say about it. Uh, There's no loss security recovery for Steam accounts. You are 100% responsible for having it backed up. This means secure digital backups as well as a secured paper backup offsite if possible. Your Steam account is worth real money. Treat your Steam password like you would your bank account password and keep it secure. One last thing to take note of. And I'll, I'll post a, I'll post some links on, on for a video and um, you know a Steemit article and whatnot. But uh, something that it's really concerning to me is uh, so Dan essentially handed the keys to the company as Ned when Ned started working on EOS, and uh, Ned has controlling shares of the company. Since then, uh, Ned has been doing some questionable things with his 51% company stake. Uh, in fact, Ned recently downvoted one of Dan's posts on Steemit and upvoted one of his posts using $3,000 of company money, um, of company stake to pay himself on his own posts and hide Dan's posts. Um, and Dan was upset by this, obviously, uh, and he said he is sad where the Steemit um, where Steemit has gone and when EOS launches he will be starting a new social media platform on EOS to to uh, to compete and hopefully remove Steemit from existence is what Dan wants and um, and like I said I'll show you the, the link of, of the conversation of what took place but uh, essentially um, Dan did something shady with the with the uh, with his votes and or sorry, Ned did something shady with his votes, was upvoting his, his own personal account with the company account um, to give himself money and to give himself reputation. And when uh, Dan saw this, he complained on Ned's post and was like, this is not what the community was supposed to be. For. You know, this is not how I built this. This is not what it was meant to be. Um, and he was just expressing his sadness that, you know, that the owner of the company would... Um, would use company money to pay himself out on and he, and obviously that's super shady and and when um, Ned saw that comment he he down thumbed it to hide it and 
Ned has so much power, he has so much um, reputation in the company that uh, that that down thumb, you know, it, it it buried his comment, and so that is a big problem that this that uh, Steemit could have in the future. I can see, you know, just a select few people running this entire site, and you know they can push people down from going up. You know, just one person with a with a lot of reputation and a lot of uh, you know steam power and whatnot um, can destroy somebody else's account that they don't like even if it has nothing to do with anything other than the fact that they don't like them they can just start down thumbing their posts and ruin them so one last thing I'd like to mention before I go and uh, that is talking about the money how you get paid on your posts your likes your comments all that stuff so um, I actually did this already at a few minutes segmented out however when I was about to post it I saw that a lot of it was changed and uh, Steemit actually changes how they pay out quite often so the uh, best way to look at the payments and how you get paid and learn that information is just to go on the Steemit website and look at their frequently frequently asked questions <laughs> Jeez. Um, and, uh, and you'll be able to, you will be able to find out all that information right there so that is it you guys I super appreciate you watching this video I, I do want you guys to <clears throat> if you can post a comment below I'd love to know what you guys think about Steemit um, about this you know Daniel and and uh, Ned drama going on if you guys are waiting for EOS to launch a new Steemit 2.0 type of deal or uh, but yeah leave your comments below I'd, I'd love to know and then um, also um, one more time just to mention that this channel is a hundred percent charity driven um, every penny does go to charity so every like and subscription does go a long way and uh, we do post at least once a week news related um, information about coins companies all that sort of stuff so I'd love to um, see you guys at the next video thanks for watching take care guys bye